Hey everybody, this is Pastor Sean Clay again, New Beginnings Ministries. Please check us out, New Beginnings Ministries, slc.com, and uh, join us on our website. It shows where you can uh, donate to the ministry through Venmo. So hope to see you soon. And uh, we're here with this gentleman, Francis. Francis. And so the first question, Francis, is what brought you to homelessness? I came out here to be with a with a with a girl. I'm, I'm from New York. I've got a house. Uh, Where are you from, New York? I, I'm Syracuse. Me too. I, South I side. Place, I got a place in New York, <laughs> Auburn. Okay. I got a place in Auburn, but I can't seem to get a bus ticket to get back there. Okay, we'll talk about that. I know agencies that can help you with that. Thank you. We'll talk about that afterwards. How long have you been homeless? Um, two months. How long? Two months here. Two, two months, months. Two months here. Yeah. Okay, what's your biggest obstacle with being homeless? Um, it's just a struggle every day, man. Every day it's a struggle to keep what you got, man. Everybody trying to take everything you have. Now, is this other homeless people or just yeah, people? Other homeless, anyone? Other homeless people, you know. Um, just be a little bit. Other homeless people, they try and take everything you got, you know. You know, by the end of the day, you know, you don't even have a pair of sneakers, you know. Mm. Okay, what is your most immediate need other than a home? Um, treatment for my finger. Treatment for your finger? Yeah. What happened to your finger? Do you want to see here? I got burned. I, I got burned. I'm trying to stay warm at night, like on fire. Oh, you got burned yeah, trying to melted, stay warm at night? Melted plastic, yeah. Melted plastic, you're fine. Oh, wow. Um, what are your safety concerns being homeless? Being warm and having enough food. Yeah. Those are your biggest concerns? Yes. Okay. What agencies have been helping you in your homelessness? Um, the Road Home, the Wigan Center. The Road Home, South. the Wigan Centers? Yeah. And uh, they, they, had, uh, they had the Day of Hope yesterday and that really helped. Oh, down at the Salt Palace, yeah. Yeah, that really helped. How'd that help you? Oh, uh, they just they, they had a lot of stuff that I needed, you know, besides. Like so you're able to get new socks and deodorant and things like that that you needed. Yeah. So that's something that you know we could be helping uh, homeless people out with a lot more is uh, socks and soap and hygiene things, huh? Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, how has Project Rio Grande affected you? Negative or positive or you're not familiar with what it is? Not what it is. Okay. And if you could say anything to city officials, what would you say? Why do you send the police to, to, to harass the homeless? Ain't the police got, you know, jobs to go do, crimes to go solve? I just wonder. Hmm. Good question. So thank you. And you're hearing it from the people, what they need. And so hopefully we'll see you soon. And we'll have more interviews on our website. And uh, please give New Beginnings Ministries, SLC.com. God bless.